What's up, Lady Ballers? We are here in Chicago, and we thought it was a great idea to get bunk beds! We have got an awesome day ahead of us. We've got a U.S. Women's National Team game, and then an amazing surprise with Nike. All right, let's go. All right, Lady Ballers, we are here in Chicago with Alyssa Nair, U.S. national team player and world champion. We're freaking out, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, rumor has it, you are about to go surprise a girls soccer team. And we just want to know, like, what kind of impact do you think that's going to be on these girls? Yeah, I'm really excited. We're here at elementary school to surprise some kids um, in their after school program. And I think it's huge for kids to, you know, be outside, be active, get involved with different things, organized and not organized. So. To be able to be here, surprise them, play with them a little bit this afternoon is, is going to be really fun. It's crazy today that the kids are least active in history in the U.S. Why do you think it's so important that girls stay active in sports? Sports teach us so many important life lessons, um, you know, teamwork and socializing and you know, social habits and learning how to lose, learning how to win and all those kinds of things. And I grew up playing soccer, basketball. My dad was an AD, so we had full access to awesome. his equipment room of whatever we wanted, I had a twin sister, so I always had somebody to play with, and I just always loved every part about sports. Is there a time or a person that like, you felt made a big impact in your career? I would say Christine Lilly. It was really cool to have, you know, see somebody from where you're from, um, be so successful and play at the highest stage, and then I had the opportunity to play with her in Boston um, my first two years, and, yeah. and as a rookie coming into your you know, first professional environment, to have somebody like that um, kind of take me under her wing, and I learned so much from her. She's an incredible teammate, she's an incredible person, and um, she definitely has had a huge impact. That's great, we love Christine. Yeah, she's yeah. awesome. And she'll still like come to the park and just start playing. Oh, totally, right? she'll like, just show up. <laughs> yeah. She's still faster yeah. and more fit than everybody else. Yeah. So. What's a piece of advice that you would give a younger player who gets discouraged, or to just tell them to keep sticking with it and stay in the game? Uh, I would say the more that you can keep it fun and keep it light, the more enjoyable it's going to be and the more you're going to play it. I think there's so much pressure to have it be perfect and mm -hmm. all the time, and that's not what sports are about. So I think if the longer you can keep it fun, I mean, we're still having fun. If you watch yeah. us in a training yeah. session, we're having a great time. Yeah. What's one piece of advice you would give your younger self as an athlete? To not be so hard on myself. Mm -hmm. Probably my biggest strength is also my biggest weakness, and that I am such a perfectionist, so I think if I could have a little bit more grace with myself when things didn't go well, I probably would have been able to bounce back from those failures a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. I love that. Find the balance. I For think sure. a lot of athletes have to do that. Mm -hmm. Like find the balance of too much pressure, not enough, and just like sure. right in that middle ground. That's when you're going to yeah, find exactly. the success. Yeah. What's your biggest soccer prop or your biggest goalie prop? Goalie prop? <laughs> <laughs> it was always the gloves. The biggest goalkeeper. Smell? The smell, yeah. The smell Fortunately, kill. Fortunately now Nike hooks me up and they take care of me so I don't have to have them around for as long and I can wash them and yes. get a new pair a lot yeah. faster. But um, I mean, that's real. That, that yeah. sweat in those gloves is It's not very only affecting real. you, but it's affecting your team. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm always like, True. Yeah. I'll just stand over here in the corner. It's fine. Goalkeepers have such a... You guys have such a strong mentality. Uh, you know, I feel like if a goal gets scored on you, like sometimes people can take it to heart and say, that's my fault, you know, mm -hmm. like, I think mentality is huge here. So like, do you feel that way with being a goalkeeper? Like, what's it like? I think so. I think it, it's definitely a, a unique mentality. Um, something kind of all goalkeepers have realized, we all kind of share that. Yeah. Some people call us crazy, others call us, you know, focused, which I'll go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, I always, you know, I feel accountable and that for every goal that goes in. You bounce back. You, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. You figure yeah. out how to, you know, let it go, move on, and that's what film is for. That's and I think it's important for everyone to know that professionals fail every day at yes, practice. we do. And that is why they are as good as they are and as, you know, successful as they are. All right, Lady Ballers, if it wasn't for sports, Alyssa Nair wouldn't be a world champion right now, and we wouldn't have the opportunity to be here and share these inspiring moments with you guys. All right, we're going to go hide behind some trees. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to surprise this team. We're so excited. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you so it. much, Alyssa. Guys, the girls think that they're just here for a regular practice. Little do they know, someone's about to crash the practice.
got me running around. One, two, three. All right, lady ballers. There you have it. Listen there. Surprise these girls at their practice, and they were so excited. Could you imagine playing with a national no. team player when I'm you were ten? I'm gonna keep my pants. They're gonna remember this day forever. So cool. So thank you, Nike. Thank you, Alyssa. Thanks, Chicago. See you next time. See ya.